morning slash afternoon guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time joining then hello hi welcome to the foy hive my name is foy and i'm going to be your youtuber for the day and welcome to a cape town vliggity vlog ironically the last vlog that i made i ended it off with going to cape town this is not that cape town vlog this is a different yet albeit similar i guess I guess Cape Town vlog and yeah I just landed I'm tired I woke up really early because I had to film a look before I came so that's why my eyes also look a bit smoky you got some makeup still and yeah side note this is what my voice sounds like now I think my voice actually has not been the same since Bacardi and I had a bit of like some post nasal drip cough action going on recently so like this is where we're at I think the rasp is kind of cool, kind of sexy, and also like a woman must have bass, so I'm happy with like the depth of my voice. Anywho, I'm in Cape Town, actually for work. Um, I'm shooting some, I'm shooting a campaign tomorrow, or like content or whatever, and I literally just asked, I was like, please book me a one way, I'll figure it out from there. So I'm keen, I've made some plans, I'm gonna see my friend, sister, go do some stuff, and I'm really excited. So yeah, come along with me on this vlog and subscribe if you have not already. As you can see, because I didn't intro this vlog this morning. I am at the Double Tree in Hil the Double Tree Hilton in Woodstock. It's a very cute hotel. I've come here for like drinks and Alan Gray hosted an event here once or twice. So like I've been here before but I've never actually stayed here. And it's very cute. Like it's obviously just me, so I don't need that much space and stuff. But it's a very cute little nice room for the night before I go back to my sister's place tomorrow. And yeah, I think I may see Debbie a bit later. But I'm also just want to lie down and I've got work to do and I've got so much editing to do. So let me do that because I don't know what the rest of the plans are for the day. I don't think we have any fittings or anything. So, yeah. Also, how nice the hotel gave me like a welcome cookie. I don't know what it is. Like, I want to say like bran or cinnamon or something. It smells so good and it's like warm. So I'm going to make a cup of tea actually and go eat my cookie. <laughs> so I literally just boiled the kettle to make tea. And I'm just praying nobody's braided their hair recently. Guys, that Jackie Anna post is wild. Americans have some weird habits and then they try and make us look like the bad guy for questioning them. Like, use a bucket, don't put your hair in the kettle. Yes, you may have a hair kettle, but why? Also because Americans boil their water in a microwave to make tea, so you bought a kettle just to put your... Guys? Anyway, I'm just praying nobody's tried to clean their underwear or do their hair with this because I'm going to make some tea, child. <laughs> Anyways, guys, it is lunch slash dinner time-ish, and I've got Deborah in the cut. She came to visit me, and we ordered some room service, so come and see the food. Oh, I got the ribs, and yeah, I'm gonna have a good time. We got some margaritas, and then because Debbie's a better person than me, she got a chicken salad, but this also looks really good, actually. This looks so good. So yeah, we're gonna have some lunch, and... I'm not sure what else I'm going to do for my evening, but then tomorrow we're on set. We decided to come to the waterfront for dinner because we had room service for lunch. And it's so cute at night. I haven't been here at night in a while. It's Eid also, so it's so festive. It's really nice. guys it is 6 42 my call time is at 7 so i'm getting ready to check out of the hotel get my uber and get to going the sun has barely even risen like it is so early it's literally winter now like it's not even 7 and the sun is not out it's literally winter but it's like looking so pretty so i'm gonna show you guys um yeah last night debbie and i we just went to the waterfront went to preemie for dinner like guys shout out to i think his name is nigel at preemie in the waterfront so so sweet so great like I wanted a particular pasta it wasn't on the menu he made it happen he brought us wine from off the menu because of what we were feeling for like he was so great um yeah so i don't know if i can disclose what i'm shooting for yet so i'll see how much bts i'm allowed to shoot but like it's gonna be fun it's gonna be cute and yeah let's go so this is what sunrise right now is looking like the purples the pinks it's so beautiful like sunset last night was like that as well I don't know if the video I took on my phone last night did it justice, but like, this guy's so pretty, Cape Town is so pretty. Anyways, let's go. 
my call time is so early that I'm literally missing breakfast but apparently it's gonna be breakfast on set and I'm banking on that because I'm I'm hungry and I'm tired I'm gonna be tired I also woke up early to work which let's go Okay, so we're on set for client. And then come see my, my team, my castmate for the day. You I look tired. Do I look tired? As you should. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm just trying to put, to look more awake Yeah, now. no, she looks great. In my first look, I was tired. Like, we even added some eye bags, you know, just woke up. And now we <laughs> are. Wake up like this. And now I get to be a little bit more lively and she gets to be tired. Yeah. I'll just like smile, hopefully it like makes me look Exactly, just like <laughs> liven up. I'm maybe shooting my final scene now, so I oh, maybe lovely. get to go home after this. A quick day on set, but an early AF morning. Butch off. Hi friends, I am back in the apartment. I've taken an afternoon nap and I'm about to start getting ready for Mbali's birthday drinks and dinner drinks groove situation tonight yeah and some of you guys have been complaining that you do not see guinea content especially when i'm in cape town so come see the cat i'm going to annoy her but it's fine i think she's completely over i come ah. guinea. guinea just say hi to the camera say welcome back to my channel say hi to the vlog I guess that's as good as it gets. This dog barking is going to confuse her. That's enough of that. Let me go do my makeup. Okay, the face is pretty much done now. I'm gonna do my lipstick after I have dinner. My sister made some stir fry so i'm gonna eat now then we're gonna head to ahsoka around seven it also gives my face enough time to warm up and like settle so i'm gonna go eat some dinner now and then i'm going to finish getting ready i don't know what to wear it's getting cold i also didn't bring that many outfits because i mostly packed stuff for the shoot today um so i'm heading back on the 11th around so so i'm I just like brought a, ca a few casual things like mostly loungewear that's what i'm gonna be living in and yeah, so I'm. Oh, what was the point of that? Anyway, the point was I'm gonna be like pretty casual, casual esque. So that's why I just opted for this one because the other dress I only put like a denim jacket, sneakers and stuff. So I don't really have like dressy uppy stuff. So I'll rather wear that dress tomorrow to Saint and just be like in this black dress and some sneakers tonight because the denim jacket would just make it look super super casual. It's not that type of party. I've never also I've also never been to Ahsoka and all of this time I've never been. So I don't know what their vibe is and how strict they are. So I was like, let me just teeter but not like jump over the fence also going to i think the milk or something i've never heard of that place in my life like i left cape town a year ago but this place has completely changed the nightlife has changed everything i don't know anyone i don't have plugs i don't know the venues so i'm still pretty keen to just like go out see something new be someone new and it seems like waffles is performing dali wonga is performing like so many people i've never seen waffles yet actually either so i'm pretty keen for tonight to see her play and i think my handbag is big enough to fit this camera so hopefully i can come bring this with and show you guys some snippets as well but let's go get some dinner <laughs> Guys, look at the birthday girl. Looking like a Zora. Let's party, guys. Let's get drunk. And hey. side note, she just told me where milk is. We're going. We're going. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> like. Hey. Tour de France. We are traveling to the club. Yeah. We're rocking. We're rocking. All right, let's go. Let's go.
Good evening guys. Today is Thursday. Last night was hectic. I literally slept and did like the barest minimum today. But we are going to see Doctor Strange at Cavendish. We got um, like the cinema prestige seats and it's a love seat. So it's going to be like nice and cozy. I even want to bring a blanket like I'm really there just to be cozy in my Crocs and in my like sweatpants. If you see me there, you didn't. Um, but now I'm really keen so let's head to Cavendish and go watch Doctor Strange. <laughs> Okay, so I actually just got home from watching the movie. I'm not... Okay, I know I'm being dramatic. I know I'm being dramatic. I know I'm being dramatic. But that is the best movie I've ever seen in my life. And it's probably not, but it is. And I can't think of anything better. I love Doctor Strange. The Doctor Strange franchise is my favorite Marvel franchise. I have been a Benedict Cumberbatch stan since, since, and until, until. It's so good. Like... We need to give Elizabeth Olsen and Benedict Cumberbatch their Oscars. We need to give them their flowers. We need to recognize comic book movies as art and be willing to give them accolades because they deserve it. So good. But like you need to watch WandaVision and you need to watch What If. I didn't watch all of like the shows and stuff in between. So I actually don't know if you need to watch all of them. But those are the two that I could pick up just so that you have context into what is happening and stuff. And... Yeah, guys, we need to talk about it, but anyway, let me go to bed, and tomorrow we're going to go out for, I think, lunch, and do some other stuff, and yeah, I'll see you then. Good morning, friends. I am currently waiting for Debbie, and we are in Century City to get a IV drip, because life is hard, and I'm tired, and I'm still recovering a bit, and just you, guys. Life is hard. <laughs> I had some news this morning that just like, so I'm trying to brace myself and pull myself towards myself. Like ordinarily, I literally would have canceled everything, sulked and stayed at home. But I'm like, do you know what? God will provide. A plan will be made. It is well. Like it is well. I'm gonna be fine. So let me carry on with my day. Let me make go with the plans that I was gonna make. Let me see my friends. Let me live life and be happy. Let me choose joy instead of wallowing in my sadness for a little bit longer. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm keen to quickly just um, get a drip and recharge, refill, re-energize, gaslight, gatekeep, grow boss, and live my life, babe. It is, however, raining, and I did not seemingly pack adequately for that. However, I will pay for my sins another time. A girl must look cute and be hot. <laughs> restaurant week so um uh, there is a lunch and dinner special here at the restaurant and a few others in cape town so we're checking it out and we're having that and yeah guys sometimes you need to link up with the people you follow on social media and just have a chat and have some wine and yeah she's in the bathroom right now but she's really lovely and i just wanted to say that so i'm really keen to have a good day maybe we'll go out afterwards i don't know guys i'm kind of tired and it is definitely raining it is raining right now luckily they have like this upstairs area which is undercover so that you are not like being pummeled by rain but it is still a bit chilly so like i very much can go home after this but maybe we'll go get some sundowners go like vibe somewhere maybe i'll meet up with debbie again but either way i'm meeting up with news tomorrow for breakfast and then we're going to be here for lunch so like and also go home tomorrow it's gonna be a busy day as well and she's back <laughs> 
We are going to Cafe Extra Blast. Woo! <laughs> Yes, <clears throat> we're about to go and and oh, the not this golden hour. I can't see nothing. Oh, not the golden hour, not the beauty, the honey, the skin yeah. tone coffee. <laughs> Guys, we're in Cape Town. In, it's so cold. It finally yeah, no, stopped raining, but we look so good via lighting. Oh my gosh. Hi. Anyways, we're going to Cafe Estrabad for a little bit because it's a Friday and we're beautiful. I mean, we might we as well. We launched by music. We really did. You they played a song. Guys, I went like the food at Kong wasn't the best, but the waitress we had was so sweet. Thank she is one of my followers. Food. Shout out to Hoa. She was so nice and sweet to us, so I'm really happy with the experience. So let's go to Extra Brad for some chills and we'll see where the night takes us. How about that? Let's just see what happens. We've landed up at Extra Brad and now we're in the mood, yeah? So let's see where the evening takes us. The lighting is really pretty. It's golden hour. It's Cape Town. We're young, hush, guys. Let's live life. Us push anyway. Good morning. It is Saturday morning. It is so early. It's literally nine o'clock. I'm somehow up and alive and able and I am ready and beautiful. And I'm gonna go have lunch with Musa. So we're gonna pick up in the Uber and we're gonna head to town and have some breakfast, not lunch, breakfast, because I'm going out for lunch to Pierre later with my sister and Debbie. So Musa and I have been breakfast. So let's go have breakfast. Hi friend. Hello. We are going to the Loading Bay because Cafe Chiffon is a dessert place, so you have to actually have breakfast first. We're going to have like a small breakfast, otherwise you're not going to enjoy the cake. Exactly. Northside cooling shorty, yeah that's where I stay. Heard you was a lame boy, get up out my face And my ex keep calling, swear that she be in the way And I need a thick red bone, shorty where I lay Bad bit in LA, tell me I should make the trip Shorty bad as hell, yeah, with them college journalists Who wear every fucking wear, three rolls in my bill Canada, John, yeah, I think that bitch from the States Shorty wanna kiss me, but I knew she stuck in dick Shorty Tell us how it is, please. Oh, it's oh. Is it good? It's oh so gosh. It's chiffon, baby. Yes, but it's chiffon. <laughs> chiffon, baby. And it's not like so Oh. Oh. Like oh, babe. Chocolate, so it's so nice. It's so nice. You want to kiss me, but I know she's sucking Okay, I just popped home for a little outfit change. I'm wearing this famous Ivy Park romper gifted to me by Beyonce herself. And now we are waiting for the Uber. I'm gonna head to Pierre and meet Debbie there. Thoughts on first course? Mm, it was really good. Four, like tiny, tiny portions, but really good. <laughs> Girl, this is course one of ten, I think. I take your I time, pass. Take your time. <laughs> like it's coming. I hope I get to go. No, you will. Okay. I promise you. I'm excited. Course two. Yeah, Uber everywhere, free rolls in my cup. Yeah, by Uber everywhere, free rolls in my cup. Yeah, I think that bitch from Canada, I think she from the city. Yeah, by Uber everywhere, free rolls in the vip. Hey, 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 hey. 
I think we've just had our favorite meal. It was the prawn, pork jewel, and spiced coconut broth. And I have these wontons in it. The prawn was perfect. I've never had prawn and pork together. And it's a combo I never knew I needed. It was so good. But we're literally halfway through the menu. So we still have some sea bass, smoked onion, olive, salsa verde, a palate cleanser, karoo lamb, aubergine, harissa, pomegranate. I'm doing a cheese course. And then we have our, what is it? Um, honey, stone fruit, and bergamot um, for dessert. And then we have our um, salt course or whatever ending. And Debbie at least conceded that she's getting full. And we're only halfway. Are you getting full? Yeah, I'm getting full now. I really know, but I feel like that kind of food. Yeah. Oh, we'll get there. And how you feel? How you feel? 25 25 <laughs> I'm in the kitchen and I'm feeling myself. That was too good. Let's get the bill. Her. Like. No, that may be the actual favorite dish. Even though it's basically just rice and stew that went to private school. Went to UCT. They came across the side of the mountain. It was and so good. Oh, that fish. <laughs> Not raised in a two parent household. <laughs> like, literally, it has a trust fund. It went to, like, what is it? Pledge for holidays. Two passports. It has a red one. Yeah, literally, it, it is the girl that she thinks she is. Yeah. And so, calamansi is a type of citrus fruit from Southeast Asia, with a flavor profile of something between an orange and a lime. Ooh. So currently, I'm foaming it directly into a pot of liquid nitrogen, which is sitting at a temperature of minus 200 degrees Celsius, freezing the foam to a complete meringue-like texture. Literally, it's been like negative frying. Yeah, it's also contributing to that lovely, cold, refreshing cleanser that you guys are gonna. I've actually never seen a meringue being made. I mean, <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna top that off with a lovely um, calamansi jar, and then just finishing off with a lovely mandarin sugar, just for some extra sweetness. Hi, I love ladies. this. So when you guys are ready. Can't even sit in peace Cause all of these niggas be on you I'm just saying like me Yeah, one that you call and you talk to, girl I'll share my world with you You wanna waste your time Waste your time with me I mean, I live for the sleep Open your eyes and see Cause you wanna waste your time with me morning guys it is tuesday morning and i'm literally about to head to the airport i skipped out on one basically two days of this oh i look so terrible guys please just ignore that anyway i skipped out on like two days of this vlog on sunday um, I went to the Cloud9 Boutique Hotel for some lunch and I went to a year pier for Mbali's birthday and I think after that I was just tired so yesterday I literally didn't leave the house um, and I was getting ready in anticipation of leaving today so anyway this is the Cape Town vlog I ate, I enjoyed, I'm tired and I'm ready to go home and now I need to get back to work so thank you so much for joining me and I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video no Wasted, baby.